Hello, my name is Selena. And my name is Theoni, and you are listening to Piping Hot. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Um, it's I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've talked. <laughs> yeah, with them or with each other? Because for them, it's been a week. <laughs> I guess for us, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. Wait, I have to tell you, I have to tell okay. you, I was listening to our most recent episode mm-hmm. at the gym and I was dying laughing on the treadmill. Like I looked like a lunatic. Maybe that's why I felt like I've talked to you, but I haven't talked yeah. to you. <laughs> no, exactly. Like, I feel like life has just been so crazy that we haven't had a chance to catch up as much. But yeah, no, literally, sometimes I listen to that like us and i'm just like wow we're freaking hilarious and yes. it's just like and in public it's like reading smut like you can't show on your face what you're no. emoting like you have to hide it like all hell you know yeah because if you're laughing to yourself on the treadmill you're gonna look like a freaking cycle yeah and like none of the tvs are on either so it's like i'm just laughing by myself <laughs> like that's creepy that's so creepy i was gonna tell you too that I actually went back to go and listen to our episode that we uh, talked about. It starts with us. Mm. And I'm like, what kind of crack were we on? Really? I was, yeah. I was like, what is wrong with us? <laughs> I need to go back and listen to old episodes because there are yeah. certain ones where I don't know, like something was in the air. Like it must have been a full moon. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> well, but yeah. there's something going on in our heads that just ain't right in that moment yeah but here we are <laughs> yeah. um yeah okay how are you give me life updates I'm, since i'm good yeah. it th- last week was probably the busiest week of my life and oh, i hated God. it i hated okay. it <laughs> cool. well i hate it for you then thank you i'm channeling my range to last week thank you yeah no i I was watching my friend's cat while she was out of town and then I had dinner with a friend and then I went to um, I went to the office because we had to record some radio and then there was a work party as well and I'm like I can do like maybe a dinner a mm-hmm. week not mm-hmm. like something every night and so like my introverted self I just like need to hibernate for the winter yeah. now like I, I can't <laughs> like that was too much in a week <laughs> well yeah no especially since you always say like you're an introvert like yeah. having just like stack after stack after stack of like social things oh my gosh like, yeah especially ones that you can't really miss out on it it's just like holy cow I need a break for like a year from talking to anybody yeah, I just like, and thankfully today at work, it was really chill. I was writing all day. So oh, like, yay. it was just super chill. And I'm like, you know what? I deserve this after yeah. the shit show that was last week. But I mean, oh, regardless, it was super fun. I'm just like really fucking tired. Mm-hmm. Um, but thankfully, I have Monday off. So yeah. I am just so excited. <laughs> oh, good. It's like, yeah. I feel like it's nice to like, look ahead and like, have a day off because then it's at least there's like an end date to your suffering you know what I mean it's like okay I can suffer through a few more days to have this day off you know yes exactly um what other life updates do you have that I want to hear that was (laughs) okay that was like the busiest that I've been that tells you how much I do that literally no, tells Selena, you how much I fucking you do. You are busy and you do have friends and you have a lovely life. <laughs> I just like don't, I don't care for it. Like I. Y'all should have seen li- Selena's face right now. Like <laughs> she was over. I just, I literally don't care for it. Like I'm just so tired. Yeah. I just like don't want to be bothered. I think that's my motto. Like I just mm, don't want to be bothered. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. And I feel like in states like that where you're just like worn out in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. And then if someone does the thing that pushes your button just right, it makes you want to literally avoid humans completely, like work, socially, anybody. How did Archie and Cora do with the cat? Oh, well, I was just, I went to her house. So the cat wasn't at my house. I'm so dumb. Thankfully, because I think Cora would have killed it. (laughs) She... I swear, like, we should have trained her to go hunting. Like, she mm. is so 
like there and she just has that like killer drive <laughs> like she has chased squirrels and rabbits around the the yard like she almost oh, caught girl. a squirrel once so much so that she like pulled out its fur and we had to like pull the fur out of her mouth <laughs> like oh man yeah. that's gross <laughs> i know right oh. and, but she's like the sweetest most gentle dog ever but she's like a killer the second she sees like Aww. a rabbit <laughs> yeah oh my gosh yeah a rabbit of all the things she's like i, I will kill you i know I right <laughs> oh my god that's so funny yeah what are you reading because i want to know <laughs> okay i've read so many things and okay i think since we last talked let me pick up pick up f- hello let me pull up my Goodreads and let me just okay. figure out what's happening because I can't even keep track. Okay, so I read, did I tell you I read The Deal by L. Kennedy? No, but I know you it's bought It's the that off-campus book. series. Yeah. Yes. So it's the off-campus series, um, Garrett Graham. I heard about all of her books on TikTok. I still have to finish the series. I've only read the first in the series because I didn't have the other ones before okay. I finished Um I'm obsessed. I understand why everyone's obsessed. Yes. That man is so hot. <laughs> like, it's like, and I know it's only going to get worse the more I read. Like, yeah. they, like, you don't understand. Like, I really, <laughs> I, oh my God. You just need to read to understand. So yeah. then I read Lisa on Love, which was oh, yes. really, really good. Like, yes. way better than I expected. And I remember, oh, like, yeah. before I read it, everyone had told me, like, it's not that spicy, whatever. But you really didn't need it. Yeah. And, like, I th- I think I was telling you, Selena, over Snapchat or something that yeah. I love smut and romance. But, like, this truly didn't need it. Like, it was so cute. Oh. I felt like it was a little rushed at some parts, but really good. Good. Okay. Okay, so then I read Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, which mm-hmm. uh, Colleen Hoover books have twists, right? Yeah. Like, they always have twists. Yes. This one, once it hits a certain point, it was thing after thing after thing. And I was like, what, 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 what? Like, I could not, like, I was shook to my core with this book. Like, more shocking than Verity, more, like, <gasps> you just don't, like, it was just crazy. I actually think you might like it. Oh, Honestly. okay. So then what, I read. What the, is it? Is it like a thriller or like a romance or what it's is like it? It's like a romance, but like it's also kind of a thriller in some ways, mm. but mostly, mostly romance. God. Okay. But like it's, it's hard to explain. But then there is a sequel, which was basically the story written from the guy's perspective I love and, that shit. <laughs> and I, reading both perspectives and then knowing what happened, it was like crazy, crazy wow. reading the other side of it. Like so good. And then basically there's three kind of spinoff books. So I read one of them, which is Finding Cinderella, which is about the oh. guy's best friend and the girl's best friend and their story. Okay. And then it's a novella. And then there's another one, which I didn't know was a part of it, called All Your Perfects, which I have Uh to go by before I read the last novella, which is basically like maybe 100 or so pages. Hmm. Um, So I'm going to read that. And then the other one I read was A Sweet Mess by J.C. Lee. This is a part of like the Sweet Mess books. Okay, so this is a part of The Dating Dare and Booked on a Feeling. Oh, which this was the first in that series, which I had never read. I read them way out of order because I didn't know it was like a standalone series. This was definitely my least favorite of the three. But I love the way J.C. Lee writes and her characters are so hot. Like (laughs) I like it. uh, The ending was not. Like it, it all felt very rushed. This book, I will say, mm, but landing, okay. landing Kim. Oh my god! Like, oh, oh <laughs> like you don't understand. Like, oh, you don't. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so those. So yeah. Since last time we talked, I've read one, two, three, four, five, six books. Well, five books and a novella. So, that's girl, I can't. At. Yeah, I, I know. literally can't. I <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. You, I you're know. like, I don't worry. I know. I understand. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's yeah. so amazing though that's I know, awesome and they were actually all really good so i'm happy that i didn't good. like none of them are like do not read like you know so. yeah because i know mm-hmm. like reading a dud feels like oh darn like it just exactly it's not a good feeling so mm-hmm. oh good I, i'm happy yeah. that they were all fantastic 
Oh, me too. Um, but what are you reading? <laughs> um, not much to be honest. I'm okay. reading your book. I'm reading your book. Who <gasps> Sl- slowly working through that because I want to be like thoughtful, but I don't want to rush through it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like taking a lot longer, but um, getting to some spicy scenes, and I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, that's the part I'm so embarrassed about. Oh my God. I, I don't know because it's like having having someone you know read about your spicy scenes because you're yeah. not going to write a spicy scene that you don't like. So then someone reading that, it feels oh. so oh, weird. You're, yep. Yeah, no, you're right. You're so right. <laughs> Like, if you I, like- you know I'm not doing any weird-ass nicknames, you know? Like, I'm not. <laughs> I uh. did see that you added a baby, though. I did. Just one. Just one. Just because, one. I, because, like I said, like I said, I'm changing. I'm learning. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. But, no, I agree. It's, like, intimate in a way where you don't want it to be intimate. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, yep. it feels a little... A little too close to home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, who else? <laughs> um, and then the only other thing I'm reading is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare mm. still. I'm slowly making my way through that because I only read it uh, before I go to bed. Mm. But it's it's weird because I can feel myself like slow down. Like, mm. I don't want to finish this book. And it's like, I'm weirdly getting emotional about it because it's like the Aww. last, the last in the trilogy, but then the Ugh. last in this time period. It's like in the Edwardian period, early 1900s. Oh. And I know this will like be the last time I see them. And so like, I'm slowly reading. <laughs> and it's, it's harder. It's so freaking hard. Like, I just, like, don't want to leave the world, don't want to leave the characters, and I'm just, like, yeah. dreading it. But it's so good. It's so good. It's just that, like, I'm weirdly emotional about it, so I can't, like, read it fast. Because <laughs> I'm psycho. I'm yeah. literally <laughs> psycho. <laughs> you're, you're not. You're not. It's just it, they're your life. That's your they, world. Like, you can't are. just abandon them. I know. Okay, wait. I, I forgot to tell you. I was reading this book in bed and I have it on my Kindle as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, the lights are off and my Kindle has like a backlight so I can just like read it. And I'm like sleeping and I'm reading it on the side. And this book is funny as hell. Like I have never (laughs) laughed as hard as I have in any other Cassandra Clare book. It is so funny. (laughs) I read a line that was so okay it wasn't even that funny it was just like something shocking happened and i got secondhand embarrassment that i was squealing and laughing so fucking hard mind you it is like 11 30 midnight jack moves next to me and he goes are you okay (laughs) i woke him up (laughs) I woke him up from my fucking laughing and I'm like, and I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then I proceeded to keep laughing (laughs) because at that point you're just so far gone. You're like, I can't control this if I tried. And he's probably like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. Oh my and then God, like that's so funny. And then waking him up made me laugh harder too. So it just like it wasn't <laughs> yeah, it didn't it work. It's just a snowball, yeah. Yeah. Um that's so funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um what are you watching? Um not really anything, honestly. I mean, I've been watching a little bit of Al- Abbott Elementary here and there, but Nice. I haven't really been watching a lot of TV the past week or so. Yeah. So, but what about you? Um, I will tell you, I'm like, I think I'm halfway through season two of Abbott Elementary. So I my, just, what episode are you on? Oh, I, I was going to say, I just watched the cringiest episode ever, the Oni, that I like could not, I could not even like look at the screen because I had oh, no. so much secondhand embarrassment. Oh, okay, oh, here, wait, sure. um, let me look it up real quick. Because I'm on episode seven, I think, season oh. two, episode seven. Okay, then no, because I just finished season two, episode 10. Okay. So I can't say anything, but I couldn't even watch the screen because I was oh. like, oh, I was can't. It, was it like Scott's Tots level of awkward? Um, no, it was okay, kind of like just nothing a different. Can beat that. Yeah, no, okay. Scott's gotcha. Tots is I can't horrid. believe they made that into a television show. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. but okay. 
yeah. I will prepare myself then. Yes. Good to know. Good to know. Season two, episode 10. And then I am also just slowly making my way through Friends. I'm like oh, on nice. season one or whatever on HBO Max. Um, but I'm just like watching that in the background because I've literally seen it so many times that it's just like <laughs> something to put on in the background yeah. when I'm like getting ready or doing whatever. So it's just mm. nice because like I haven't. I haven't seen it since they took it off Netflix and now that I have mm. HBO Max it's like so nostalgic because I watch that show constantly like freshman year in college yeah. like that's all I watch so it's been fun so returning back returning yeah back. really nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay what are we listening to next yes okay I could start um, okay I really haven't been listening to a lot of new music still a little bit in my music slump, not going to lie. Yeah. I don't know how to get out of it, but I have a few songs that I've been listening to that I want to mention. Oh, OK. So the first one is Can't Tame Her by Zara Larson. Um, I think it's fairly yeah. new. Have you yeah. heard it? I have. It's such a bop. It's so I good. I love her voice. I think I people, do too. People forget like her range. Her range is insane. Yes, I I think it's one of those situations where her label may have screwed her over because yeah. I just feel like she should be more popular. Like, truly, she's yes. insane. I love so, her so much. This got me back on the Zara Larsa train, so I'm going to go, like, look back through some of her music and see. Because nice. I bet she has some hidden gems, I yeah, feel like. definitely. Um, And then, per your suggestion, I have not stopped listening to Know God and How to Cry by Sam Smith. <gasps> right and those songs are truly i don't know what it is about those two songs but i cannot stop listening like i'm getting chills thinking about it they are on another level like it's, especially no god the like outro where the guy in the background is like like just singing with the rasp i'm like holy yeah. crap and then how to cry is like simple but so beautiful like yes i like I, i'm speechless classic sam smith ballad like amazing production and it just like yes. hits you oh gosh yeah those it songs does. are so good but then the thing about that i feel like it was a perfect mix of like classic sam smith but then also this like new era that's yes. coming you know like i yes. just oh i'm just so obsessed so thank you for yes. that suggestion because <gasps> okay, i'm good. obsessed uh, yay okay that's amazing <laughs> okay <laughs> what are you um, listening to what am I listening to? So I'm still in a little slump. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just like can't really find anything that I want to listen to, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. But um, as you were talking about Sam Smith, I remember that I've been listening to Mona Skin at the gym, Baby <gasps> Said. Isn't and oh. yeah, and their other song on their album called Gossip. So <gasps> good. That song's so good too. So yeah good. they're bops like, complete bops amazing i was like and holy crap i like didn't think i would like the genre of that music but i love it well i feel like it is the perfect mix to get people into more rock music and more like gritty yeah. rock but then it's also pop enough to the point where it's like doesn't feel too crazy so yeah. i agree <laughs> um okay what else am i listening to um, oh, I, I texted you this. I've been listening to Heartless by The Weeknd, but that's because <gasps> it is, I've determined that that is my song for my next book that I'm going to write for the love interest. So I've been listening to that nonstop and I literally I'm already can't, in love with him. <laughs> yes, I like can't get the vibes out of my head. Like I need, I need to write him. Like I'm dying to write him. <laughs> You okay? Here's here's the thing you need to understand. Okay? okay, when you were texting me about your main characters, I'm like, you told me what they look like. I look <laughs> audibly. I was around my family, and I I gasped, I gasped, and they're like, "What are you referring to?" And I said, "Oh, nothing, nothing." And they're like, "What are you talking? What are you? Who are you texting?" And I was like, "Nothing, nothing." Because what am I supposed to say? Yeah. What am I supposed to say? I can't explain that. So Wait, I was that's... like, I was like trying to turn myself down. You know, that is like I, I was turned so on funny. and I got to turn it down. Yeah. Yeah. You were like zero to a hundred and then quick to zero again. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> because the way you describe your character made me want to vomit. And like that song, yeah. it's just like. Oh. Yeah. Like I, that song, <laughs> Heartless by The Weeknd, it's like all vibes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I literally love it. I can't wait. He's going to be so freaking mean to her. Like. <laughs> 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 like 
<laughs> that's all I have. Like, he's going to be so mean to her, and I am here for it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. She can handle it's fine. it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, what else am I listening to? Um, so there was a new song released by Dove Cameron, and oh. how do you say his name? Khalid? Khalid? I don't know. I, how th- I say Khalid. I'm pretty sure it's Khalid. Okay. Khalid called We Go Down Together. It's Ooh. very reminiscent of Lovely with him oh. and Billie Eilish. So, okay. I mean, I like it. I think Dove Cameron has a gorgeous voice. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just very reminiscent of Lovely. So Okay, nice. I'll have to give it a listen. Yeah. And then the other thing, too, that I was listening to today is Rihanna. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll talk, talk about, about it. Yeah. Well, I know we'll talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, and then the last her. thing, what are you consuming? Literally, I've barely, well, I got a Dunkin' today in the middle of the day. Um, but Ooh, honestly, nice. I think I had a couple Oreos for breakfast. I haven't had much of an appetite today, honestly. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to throw in a pizza after we're done recording. So, cause Yum. I, I'm leaving out of town this weekend. And so I was like, I don't, I'm not going to buy like groceries, groceries to yeah. have. So I was like, what, it, what's good for a couple days. So exactly. That's kind of yeah. where, where What kind of pizza? Um, okay, it's the DiGiorno pepperoni pizza, but it's the croissant crust. Oh, Girl, yum. you have to try it. It's on another level. So oh. I get the DiGiorno stuffed crust with the cheese oh. in it. Like, literally so good. Nobody does it like DiGiorno's, girl. Like, honestly, like, no, people be truly. talking about Jack's or two. No. Mm-mm. No. DiGiorno. Uh, DiGiorno's. That, yep. That's where it's at. <laughs> Did, do you, I asked the guy to prom with DiGiorno's pizza. Did I ever tell you about that? No? What the heck? Okay, um, this guy's definitely not listening to the podcast. So I'm just gonna say I went to I went to my senior year prom with this guy named Bjorn. So I got him, and he was from another school. So I asked him, and I made a sign, oh, and it. I got him a frozen pizza, and it said, "It's not delivery; it's Bjorn's prom." Get it? Oh, that's Isn't so that cute. Actually, hor- no, it's not cute. It's gross. I, no, but I love. You. Okay, okay, okay. Prom, <laughs> like, like when you're asking for prom, like it yeah. has to be cute and corny and just, yeah. you know. Oh my god, I don't think I ever told you, but there was this one time where. At a football game, this guy orchestrated this whole thing that he would go down um, to the field for something or whatever and ask the girl to go to homecoming with him. And she said yes in front of everyone. And then when they were off the field, she said no. (laughs) Oh, no. Isn't that the worst? Isn't that the worst? That's, That's the problem with uber public things the the, the 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 thing like like things like oh, that because it. you have to say like you I can't say no you know um that's why whenever I've asked a guy to a dance which has been twice in my life I knew they were gonna say yes before mm, I yes. remember because of my anxiety I'm so dumb I I literally <laughs> asked this guy my junior year it was like we called it backtrack which is basically like the girl asked the guy dance yep and I I snapchatted message it messaged him the night before I asked and I was like so theoretically if i were to ask you to the dance would you say yes <laughs> and he was like yeah and then the next day i asked him so good. Really no risk at all no that's good but you eliminated the risk though yeah. okay yeah i, I see Do what want- you were doing okay now i just have to tell you about my other proposal okay please my junior year um my friend jackson at the time he uh, he was we were walking together after school. I think he had to go to the band room for something because he was in band and he had a box of limes. And I was like, why the frick do you have limes? So we're walking and then he like pretends to bump into me and spills all the limes. And I was like, what the heck? So then I helped pick it up the limes. And then all of a sudden I look over him and the box was turned over. And on the back of the box, it said, I'm not very good at pick up limes prom. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it, I was dying. It was like so corny, but I loved it I love so it, much. Though. Yeah, That's it was so, so cute, adorable. Yeah. Like I mm. live for the corny, cute. Oh my god, wait, that's yeah. so cute. I know. I had a crush on him on and off for like years. Wow, I should not expose myself. Anyway, <laughs> but I think he did too for me, so it's fine. It's, it's fine. okay. It's okay. He's married now. Hope you're happy. Bye. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> pop culture <laughs> yeah pop culture please save me from myself okay anyways okay i Wait, have... what are you consuming 
Oh, what am I consuming? <laughs> um, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, so the Super Bowl was yesterday, and we got uh-huh. three different types of pizzas. Oh, hell yeah. I was just like, I don't want to cook dinner, and uh-huh. the Super Bowl's at night, so I'm like, well, let's uh-huh. just throw in, like, a frozen pizza. So we yeah. had DiGiorno's uh, stuffed crust. We had the California Kitchen buffalo nice. pizza, which was really good. And then we tried the Good and Gather. Um, Prosciutto? Yes. <gasps> That's what What'd we did. What'd you think? What'd you think? It was okay. You didn't like it, did you? Oh. It was okay. But I still ate all of my slices. <laughs> like, you know? Like, I'm not yeah. going to complain. Uh-huh. Um, but it was okay. It was interesting that was the second pizza we okay. started with. So we had the California kitchen one and then Good and Gather and then DiGiorno's. So. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now pop culture. Well, one of them we just need to talk about straight away. Yes, exactly. And it's Rihanna's performance at the Super Bowl, her halftime um, performance. Okay, here, here, I have a couple of beefs. Well, okay, one go. beef that I need to just say. My okay. first beef is everyone online right after it happened was like why is everyone assuming she's pregnant like blah 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 i was like y'all the first shot of her on the freaking screen was her holding her belly yeah that y'all aren't doing the thing where you're being disrespectful and Mm -hmm. asking a woman if she's pregnant like that's not what that was she made that clear on purpose yeah like it's like it's a very common symbol with like Mm -hmm. pregnant women to like put your hand on your stomach but Mm -hmm. also I feel like Rihanna as an artist as a performer is very Mm -hmm. well thought out like don't Mm -hmm. doubt her don't doubt her her mind her greatness nothing you know like that was (laughs) on purpose okay (laughs) yeah no literally okay here's here's my thing okay I thought the like overall I thought her performance was like brilliant. It was so mm-hmm. visually appealing. Yes. I part of me wishes that. Oh, no, this I can't say that. I I well, I'm you have to say it now. She, I'm happy she's pregnant, right? Yeah. But I'm just imagining if she weren't pregnant, I know she would have been even more into the choreography yeah. and stuff. But like, it yeah. makes sense why. So I don't blame her. Yes. So the people who are like, oh, she wasn't moving at all. I'm like, um, she's literally pregnant. And then I was seeing all these TikToks. It was so funny. And it would be like these like random people going crazy. And it was like, this is Rihanna's baby during the Super Bowl. It yes! was so funny. But um, but I thought it was really good. And the thing is, there's so many other songs I wish she would have performed. Like, truly. Oh, my God. No, the, but, it's crazy because her yeah. discography is so huge mm-hmm. that the fact that like, she didn't sing SOS. And I was like, oh, my uh-huh. God, why not? And she didn't sing Ponder Replay. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, no, why not? But then, but then all the songs that she sang, I was like, oh, wait, yeah, that's the song. Yeah, like, that that's a really good song. And, like, yeah. but I was also surprised that, like, she didn't do uh, This Is What You Came For. And I'm like, oh, that yeah. was a really big song. But then she did, obviously, Umbrella. And she did... Mm-hmm. Um, wild thoughts when wild thoughts came on i screamed because i yeah, love no. that song i love that song oh, <laughs> so good but that's yeah. the thing like and she even said i think in an interview beforehand she was like the set list changed like 30 times but and oh, that's I the bet. thing like the reality is there's no way with a discography at, like hers that's so iconic like there's no way you could possibly yes. please everyone with your song choices so eventually you yes. gotta be like okay we're just gonna go with this and be done because exactly. there's so many she has to choose from exactly because like mm-hmm. she didn't even do like love on the brain either like i was mm-hmm. like that's a, a huge song for her but again too mm-hmm. it's like she has so many hits that it's so hard to choose yeah i'm kind of surprised she didn't do disturbia though i know same because that one's huge, too. I know. Like, See, that's the thing. What okay, the heck? But, like, But crazy. overall, she's iconic. And yeah. I kind of love that she didn't bring on special guests. Because Me too. she's just. It's her. That's, it's just it's her. her. It's just yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. I agree. No, I, I thought everyone, it was. Everyone was like, the what? Their backup dancers were ASAP sperm. I know, yes I did you see that whole like theory of mm-hmm. like <laughs> I'm like yeah, okay sure did. all right cool <laughs> I was just Ugh. gonna say that like I I really loved her performance I loved love love loved that she opened up with bitch better have my money <gasps> yep, like same power move 
power mm-hmm. move. I was like, yep. I was like, girl, you're gonna come in to the Super Bowl and do the most fucking crazy song, crazy <gasps> and aggressive song. And I'm like, yes. yeah, yeah, you are. Heck like yeah. that's amazing. And um, that's her. She like has no shame, but yes! like also in the most like confident, cool way. Exactly. And then mm-hmm. I just want to say too that like her performance of diamonds at the end phenomenal like it's phenomenal i was like rihanna you're depriving us please like you still have it please i i need a new album now no i do i do where is it exactly i'm like but now she's still in so we're not gonna get a tour i need a rihanna tour it's so funny because i see all (laughs) there's this video that i saw (laughs) <laughs> on the theory of like we're not focusing on the right equation right like mm. the equation that we're focusing on right now is that we love rihanna but rihanna loves asap okay asap and us are not connected which means <laughs> that we don't get an album because rihanna loves asap and we love rihanna we're in we're stuck in like a love triangle that doesn't benefit us <laughs> wow that's deep <laughs> And I was it makes like, a lot of sense, I guess. No, it does. I, I'm like, I just don't want the truth in my face. Like, please, I no. still have some and hope I, this year. No, literally. And um, we need some closure. At least give us a farewell album or something, yes. girl. Because please. Uh, like, I know you're busy and you're like so successful, but I been, need new music. We've been good in this relationship with her. Yeah. And and we deserve we deserve something <laughs> to say goodbye. We've we deserve pretty, them more than what we're getting. We've been really patient, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yes, oh, wait. Have. And then, sorry. I'm so sorry. I saw, I saw another <laughs> meme where it was like the Pikachu <laughs> surprise face. And the yeah. caption was Kanye West watching Rihanna perform Run This Town without him. <laughs> and I was like, you're right, though. Yeah. You're right. Good. She can, she can perform Good. it without you. <laughs> Yeah, she can do whatever the heck she wants. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> so funny. Okay, this is a quick one, but Vanessa Hutchins is engaged to MLB player Cole Tucker. Yes. I never heard of him in my life, but I'm happy for her. She looks happy. And yeah. go there, rip Vanessa. Yeah, no, she she deserves all the happiness in the world, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, my next thing is that the Grammys happened since our last episode. And so I'm going to be honest with you. I did not watch it, even though I literally said in in our episode that I was going to. I did not. (laughs) Um, But I did see that Harry Styles won record of the year or whatever it was. And then Sam Smith and Kim Petras won the best uh, pop duo, which Mm -hmm. I was surprised about because I was so keen that it was going to be – Ed Sheeran and Camila Cabello. You were, you were. Yeah. I think, I think there were a lot of surprises. Yeah. Um, I almost feel like some of the choices were purposeful in the sense of like who they chose mm. and spreading the wealth a little bit versus letting one person sweep everything. Like yeah. everyone seemed to win something. But what I love yes. to see, I watched. Everyone was so supportive of each other. Yeah. Like, especially between Lizzo and Adele. Like, I, I can't oh. believe they're friends. Like, I know. I, I love them so much. <laughs> Me too. Um, and also at the Grammys, this was one of my pop culture, Beyonce officially became the most awarded Grammy musical artist of all time. Damn. Mm-hmm. Good for her, as she deserves, she, okay? As she, she really does deserve it. She's yeah. had a career, and she, she's like a crazy performer like she's yeah. insane so. no she, and she's worked really hard for that so good mm-hmm. for her yes and also at the pre-grammy show viola davis won a grammy i'm not sure for what but viola davis is officially an egot winner yes so go her good for her she actually mm-hmm. won she won it for her audiobook she did her oh. own audiobook for her memoir Oh, that's she, so cool. Right? And she won it. And I'm like, good for her. Like, that's, mm-hmm. but also, though, she has an amazing voice. Like, it's mm-hmm. just so incredible. It's so, like, mm-hmm. silky and smooth and calming. Yes. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, my next one is that Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds have welcomed their fourth yep. child. Yeah, that was one of mine, too. Girl keeps popping out babies. I swear she's, like, I know. always pregnant, but then yes. when she's not pregnant, she's not pregnant. So, I wonder if, they have started filming It Ends With Us. I don't think so. No, I think, and they're gonna wait a little bit, I'm sure. I think that was probably, 
yeah i think that's what she probably negotiated of like mm. if you guys really want me like i want to obviously give birth but then have like a little bit ta- a time. of time mm-hmm. yeah. before i start filming which is reasonable um mm-hmm. but yeah i was just gonna say that like now that they've had their fourth child they can start freaking filming it ends with us so whatever <laughs> yeah i just need the train wreck to come and go yes no please please like yeah. I, i'm ready for it i've prepared yeah, myself i've prepared <laughs> myself mentally emotionally so like let's go be done yeah. bye um that's all my pop culture things because i okay. have quite a few similar to you nice okay my only last thing is that mm-hmm. megan fox deleted all of her photos with machine gun kelly from her instagram and posted a really cryptic post of a letter burning cap captioned with lyrics from beyonce's pray you catch me i mean if this girl is giving signs like she's got all the signs like right like deleting pictures of her ex posting like a really really good beyonce song from lemonade okay from lemonade right we know a lemonade Mm -hmm. is all anger Mm -hmm. (laughs) i i I don't know when the rumors had started because i kind of dug into this but it sounded like Mm -hmm. they the rumors had started that they split late last year and now it's just kind of coming out that like they are very kind of done especially with what megan has been doing but um mm. you know dang I'm good not for her s- yeah <laughs> yeah i mean not gonna lie i'm not super surprised same um, same because it seemed like one of those relationships where it was so on for so yeah. long that like keeping up that level of them two together which yeah. we've talked about before yep so I hope that, you know, they're both doing OK. And clearly Megan's got some anger. So let yes. it out, girl. Yeah, she mm-hmm. deserves it at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I realized we never talked about what we were drinking. Oh, OK. So <laughs> what are you drinking, Selena? <laughs> um, I'm drinking lemon ginger. It's okay. very boring. It has probiotics. It has no caffeine, okay. which is good for me. Um, OK. But no, it's really good. I like it. So nice. I what was drinking you? a diet. Yeah, I was drinking a diet coke and I finished that. Now nice. I'm drinking some water. So nice. nothing too exciting today. I was gonna make tea and then I forgot. Yeah. It happens. So <laughs> it happens. Yeah, my aunt sent me a little card for Valentine's Day though with a little tea in it. So I'm gonna make that next time we record. It was really, really cute. So that's so cute. Mm-hmm. I love it. And she's really good at like arts and crafts and like making cards. So she like hand stitched like this like card together i don't know how to describe it it's beautiful though it's so cool damn that's amazing Mm -hmm. yeah all right um do we want to dive into our topic for today yes so today selena and i will be talking about cultural resets i'm gonna be honest i came up with like one after another and then all of a sudden my mind was blank and like I I wonder if some of these were just big pop culture moments and not necessarily cultural resets, you know? Mm, yeah. But a lot of mine, I was kind of going to do things from every topic, but mine are like almost all pop culture. So yeah, that's, that's where I landed. So, but yeah. I'm really excited to talk about this. Me too. I, I'll explain why I chose my cultural resets mm-hmm. if I have a reasoning. But yeah, it was interesting the way that I was thinking of them because sometimes like they were nostalgic to me, but then they were mm-hmm. also kind of cultural resets or either they were just like like plain cultural resets. So yes, exactly. So the first cultural reset that I really feel like it is is Rihanna's Super Bowl halftime performance. We don't need to talk <laughs> about it anymore. Okay. But I really feel like... I really feel like this is a turning point. Like it's her return. Yeah. She was so nostalgic for so many of us for so long. Yeah. And I really do think we're going to be getting new music soon. And yeah. that's how I feel. I think they did as much as I have so many freaking problems with the NFL. I mm-hmm. think they did a great job picking her this year. I, I think feel they like, did too. I feel like she is so universal like i was talking to jack about this too it's like i don't care if you don't like rihanna you know rihanna like that's the thing that's how big she is and like exactly coming coming to perform at the super bowl after six years is huge so Mm -hmm. huge exactly okay so my first one it should not be a surprise (laughs) because i love them so much (sighs) is tom holland and zendaya dating okay yeah you're telling yeah. me three Superman, Mary J, um, um, have all these couples Superman? have dated. Superman. 
Spider-Man. I'm a fake fan. Have we have we <laughs> determined this? There's always have- a fake fan moment every episode at this point. Ah! <laughs> I should just like have a t-shirt that says fake fan. Fake fan. I should- yes. I Wait, should merch just- for our merch. <laughs> No, we should change the intro and be like, hi, I'm Selena, the fake fan. <laughs> and I'm Theoni, the bitch who corrects her every fucking yes! time. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. So funny. But anyways, Spider-Man. Uh-huh. I meant Spider-Man. You're telling me the three franchises of Spider-Man, right, that have varied throughout the years. They have dated. You're telling me, like... I, I just, like, can't believe it. It's like, it's No, it's crazy. shocking. It's, it's shocking. It's so crazy. But I love it. I'm here for it. Same. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> kind of going in the same vein. You're going to be like, girl, enough with the Super Bowl. But <laughs> I really, I really do feel like not as much Coldplay, because who cares? But during Coldplay's 50th Super Bowl halftime performance Mm -hmm. when Beyonce and Bruno Mars came out Mm -hmm. and both did their individual things and then did their dance battle. That was a cultural reset. I agree. Both of them are two of, in my opinion, the best performers of our time. Yep. They can both sing impeccably live. They both are like skilled performers, like dance, like everything. Like I remember watching that and being like, what the, like nothing will ever top that for me. Like that was just on another tier. No, I agree. That's one of the Super Bowl performances that I go back and I watch because yes. it is so amazing, like mm-hmm. absolutely amazing. And they did such a great job mm-hmm. with it. Yeah, I get chills thinking about it. I'm going to go watch it again. Even yes. though I watched it last night, I'm going to go watch it again. <laughs> yeah. so it's so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, my next one. Mm-hmm. This one I think, this one I think is a little more nostalgic Okay. versus cultural reset but okay. i could argue either way okay it's when disney channel did send it on with the <sighs> jonas brothers miley cyrus demi lovato and selena gomez that was like <laughs> i was obsessed with that song me too like they were all at their peak right Mm -hmm. and we had we kind of got over the drama with you know miley and selena with nick Nick and 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 we got over the drama with like demi Demi lovato and joe Joe, right right and everyone came together for this song and literally broke the freaking internet like it was somehow it still didn't save our planet no (laughs) it saved my heart okay (laughs) 12 year old selena watching that no literally every ounce of anything gone just content yes. oh my god yes yeah man. if they recreated that it would break the internet for oh a hundred percent like no yes. one would survive that this is not a good cultural reset but it is a cultural reset okay fergie singing the national anthem <gasps> come on now oh oh how did i forget about that i know well no, probably because so you right. tried to block it from your memory you're right you're right i do I- I will never forget, even every once in a while, I will go back and watch people's reactions to her (laughs) singing because it's so funny. Like Steph Curry's and oh my god, Steph Curry, he Draymond Green. Oh my god, it's so so fucking. And then the best part of a Steph Curry's one is he was like really holding it in, but then the minute he smiled, he couldn't even hide it at all anymore. And then freaking Chance the Rapper is watching, like. It, wow it, no you're so right mm-hmm. it was so bad yeah it was really bad oh no okay wait did I you see stop. chris stapleton sing the national anthem yesterday oh yeah beyond iconic his his voice Fan- is one of the best in the industry fantastic he did mm-hmm. he did like one little run at the before like the the last verse and i was like mm-hmm. holy crap i mean overall his voice is fantastic like mm-hmm. i was just so blown away mm-hmm I loved it. Yeah. So good. So good. So I truly think that this is a cultural reset. Okay. Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt's breakup. When they got divorced. You know divorced. what? That did seem like a turning point. It did. Well, the thing is, is that like when it first happened, it was really sad, right? Mm-hmm. Like I was like, oh no, like I love them. They're so funny together. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my gosh, whatever. But if you take a look at it now and the way that it reset everything to like where we are now it's like oh wait that had a huge impact to like the paths that they took like it's crazy it really really did yeah 
Okay, this one I think I should take off the list, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Okay. Um, kombucha girl. <gasps> Wait, I love kombucha. I think <laughs> I know, I know, but I think it was such an iconic yeah meme, and then. Yes. It, it also just bled into, like, TikTok becoming mm-hmm. a thing. And now Brittany Broski's huge. Like, yeah. it just... Well, that was the whole wave of, like, kombucha as well, too. Mm-hmm. Remember? So I feel mm-hmm. like, in a way, it was, like, a, a media impact, but also, like, a product impact as well. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Okay, I feel like this one's a given, but I'm still going to say it. Okay. Um, Frozen. Oh. Like, I don't care if you don't have kids. You know what Frozen is. Yo, you do. And no. you know the songs. Like, you yep. know everything. It's, it's everything. It's everywhere. And I mm-hmm. feel like it really, truly pushed Disney into the correct direction that they're going now. Yeah. Like, it was it totally huge. totally did. It was a huge turning point for them. I mean, mm-hmm. again, not to say that, like, Disney was, like, dying or whatever. And they had horrible animations. I'm just saying that, like, that pushed them way further than they would have ever expected and kind of yep it um, like revamped it in a way yes exactly and it ushered in these like new animations these new stories that they are now telling and i i love it mm-hmm. it was so good yeah Ugh, love it okay here's another one okay when dakota johnson roasted the crap out of ellen on her <laughs> show no when right, ellen no. was like you didn't invite me and she was like yes i did and I really feel like that was almost the moment when people started questioning Ellen a yes. little bit. Yes, yes. And then it all just started changing. And then You're thing right. after thing. And like, it also made Dakota Johnson more iconic. It made people hmm. skeptical of Ellen. Like, I will never forget that. And I was like, oh, because no one ever calls out Ellen on uh-uh. anything. No. And like, I, I do agree that that was like the tipping point, like where mm. it really, it truly shifted the path of reality when Dakota Johnson <laughs> stood up to Ellen. Like, uh-huh. I remember watching that interview and being like, oh, this feels really weird. Uh-huh. Like, you know. Uh-huh. Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I also think this one's a given, but it's kind of like nostalgic, but mm-hmm. also cultural reset as well. Uh-huh. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber dating. <gasps> Jelena, bro. Right? It did. Right? And like, it really still sticks in people's brains to this day. Well, that's because of, like, the ripple effect. It's like, I feel like this, the moment that they started dating and the media got onto them, it's like the whole world changed. And then when they yeah. split, was even worse. It worse. You know? Yep. Mm-hmm. Next one. Um... I, again, another one that shouldn't be on the list. Remember that interview with Justin Bieber and Maria Menounos? No. When Maria Menounos said something to him and he, she goes, hey, hey, hey. And <gasps> Justin Bieber's like, I like that laugh. Hey, hey. Like, I yes. think about that to this day. I, I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. It's so Sometimes funny. Sometimes I forget about it, but then that mm-hmm. clip comes on my For You page on TikTok, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that did happen. Like, it's so funny to me. It's yes. definitely not a cultural reset. <laughs> it's not. It really isn't, but it just made me laugh. So I, there you I go. Think it's, yeah, it's very yeah. funny. <laughs> um, This one also pertains to Selena Gomez. Okay. It's when she was in the Burning Up music video. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Can I we? will never. We were all like, oh, oh, Nick, Selena. Oh, oh. It yeah. was so much drama. Like, yep. so much drama. Which uh-huh. I think, again, too, like, was leading up to the factor of, like, Send It On and, like, kind of mm-hmm. how they all made up or whatever. But mm-hmm. in the moment, it was like, holy shit. It was. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. I was. Oh, I love that. Yes. I, I'm so glad I grew up during the era of Disney. No, truly. It was Now the they're best. doing some weird shit like Bizarre Vark. I don't oh. even. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. No. The James Charles and Tati feud. <gasps> oh, my God. It's so funny you mentioned this because I was just reminded of this, like, literally mm. last month. And I'm like, oh, my God. I lived during that era. It shook people. Not even the beauty community. Like, it just exploded. <laughs> yes. Literally. And, and I remember it it prompted so much in the beauty community, even like the online YouTube community, like yep. people doing beauty and stuff. It changed the course of so many things with yes. that. So Yes. Oh, my gosh. You're so right. And oh I my watched gosh. every second of those videos. I was <laughs> invested. No way. That's yes, so funny. <laughs> I, was, I was. I was. I remember when Tati's video dropped. It was uh-huh. the hugest, biggest freaking deal ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just kept going and we're like, y'all, enough. But anyways, I know. 
All right. Um, my next one is also a given, but I'm going to mm. say it because it, it was a cultural reset and okay. I feel like it did have ripple effects. Okay. Um, Zane leaving One Direction. <gasps> You're right. I feel like that was a huge step, not only for Zane to get to the path where he is now, but for Harry and Niall mm -hmm. and Louis and Liam. Like it mm -hmm. changed everything everything for them and i don't did. i don't think they would be where they are without that hadn't. moment exactly exactly yep. and especially with being reminded of like harry's career now with just winning the mm -hmm. grammy exactly and, um everything like that it's just just wild and liam being on that stupid fucking podcast <laughs> logan paul he's scraping the barrel to get no, some truly that's content. why I'm saying it's like when Zayn left the group, I was like, I feel like that determined everyone's path. Like, it, yep. it really did. <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. My next one. Okay. You're going to love this one. I know you will. Okay. Again, Selena Gomez. But it is the entirety of the Another Cinderella Story movie. <gasps> no. She Every revived that freaking franchise. Everything about that movie was perfect. Between the music, between Drew Seeley finally getting his moment, between Jane Lynch being in that movie, like everything <laughs> about it, like the dancing in the mirror and like, <laughs> oh my God, oh, everything about that. It's funny because I so only good. watched the Hillary Duff one mm. until Selena's came out because it was yep. that huge. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yep. <gasps> so good oh my god so good i know <laughs> i love it i love it i literally I, love it i think i may watch it tonight honestly, I was just gonna for say joy no literally i think i need that in my life i do oh them i do them yeah. i love them the original <laughs> enemies to lovers no i'm kidding <laughs> my next one again i feel has very much a ripple effect that we mm -hmm. have seen to this day mm -hmm. is kelly clarkson winning american idol <gasps> you're right it, yeah it, because especially because of her success it just turned out all these other singing shows and like everything because yes exactly uh, but, but also no one has really matched her success in the same way i mean mm -hmm. one could argue carrie underwood and whatever yep. but like kelly clarkson paved the way for like all of those yes. shows and and like, well, she just, is the original. She is the blueprint yep, of everything. She is. Because she you're is. right. It was, um, so American Idol, the voice is now pretty big because of that. And mm -hmm. also um, the four, right? Is that a singing show? Yeah, I think that, it might have been canceled. Though. I think it was. But again, too, it's like, it was the blueprint. Like, American mm -hmm. Idol and Kelly Clarkson, they were the blueprint. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This one is a cultural reset without a freaking doubt. Okay. Tom Holland's lip sync battle of Umbrella. I'm I was literally, I was literally going to put that down, but I was like, I already have Tom Holland and Zendaya on my list and I look like nope. a psycho. Okay, well, I'm glad we can talk about it because yes. it was so iconic. Honestly, honestly, that entire lip sync battle because Zendaya's performance of um, 24 Karat Magic was yes. like also insane to another level. But when Tom comes out in the wig and then dancing in the rain and then yes! it is just a truly on another level like it's, no one yes it's it's a reset in that they are they showcase the world what they could offer that they mm -hmm. were like young bright stars ready to take on the world but not only that that it like paved the way for their relationship mm -hmm. which like <laughs> right like friends to lovers i can't like i i literally can't <laughs> if they break up that will be... It'd be the death of me, to, yeah, truly, no. to be honest. Yeah. Because I... Yeah. I just... No. Ugh. I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Um. Okay. My next one is Kylie Jenner's pregnancy. Oh, my God. It was, and I hate to admit it, but it was a cultural reset because everyone was just speculating for mm -hmm. so long and then she didn't reveal it for the longest time yeah. it was just crazy it was and i feel like also too it was the during the time of covid as well so it's like everyone had so much time and that mm -hmm. like they all kind of like went to this like idea that like kylie jenner's pregnant or whatever and then when it was revealed there was this huge wave of people were like oh my god i want to have a baby now too and i'm like girl mm -hmm. slow down you mm -hmm. don't have a million dollars laying around. You can't live this <laughs> fabulous, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. um. 
Okay, next one. The meat dress. The meat dress. Do I remember Lady Gaga's this? meat dress? Selena, <laughs> you don't remember the meat dress? I'm going to look it up right now. Girl. No, I don't. When she wore raw meat? Yeah, I'm looking at these pictures right now, and maybe I would have, I just blacked out during this time. I think you did black out because, girl, that was a big thing. I, I mean, swear the, to thing God is, it was. the thing is, is that it's very, like, Lady Gaga. Like, oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. But no one had ever worn raw meat before. I know. So. Oh, I just thought of another. Okay, um, say it. Um, another culture reset is that Jennifer Lopez's green iconic dress in 2000. Oh, which yeah. basically created Google mm. images. Like No, it literally did. Yes, which is so insane. And then she just rewore it again recently in like 2020 or whatever. And still fit perfectly. Like, and looked incredible. Of course it did, you know? Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Crazy, crazy. Okay, next one. Yes. The is Oscar it slap. Oh. No, you go. You go. Say the it again. The Oscar slap. Yeah, I was going to put that one down, too. Okay, yeah. I mean, it just was. I'm not going to sit here and talk about it because you talk about it on the podcast yeah, before. But yeah. the Oscar slap. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, my next one mm-hmm. is Kanye West's interruption of Taylor Swift's speech at the VMAs in 2009. <gasps> You're right. I didn't. How did I not think of that? Because if you look, right, if you look at the track record of where Taylor Swift is right now and where mm. Kanye is, karma is a bitch, okay? <laughs> no, it is. It 100% and is. And that, that moment literally was a cultural reset because it, I think it really truly pivoted Taylor Swift to what she is right now. Like, it's it did. crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. 100%. Holy cow. Right? That was nuts. Right? <sighs> Next one. Okay. Miley Cyrus twerking on stage with the foam finger in the yep. tan outfit with Robin Thicke during Blurred Lines. Yes. Yep. No one will ever yep. forget that. And that felt like such a big turning point for Miley and yes. like just. I like can't get that image out of my head. Like I, I remember I how big it was and just like just so crazy, like insane, insane. <laughs> I yeah I'm just uh, shook to this day yeah you know no, really like, truly. <laughs> um okay this one I feel was also it's pretty nostalgic but it was pretty big at the time but I feel like it also has kind of ripple effects now. Okay. Is Jamie Lynn Spears pregnancy? You know what you're so right, <laughs> right? because that was I mean maybe I'm forgetting some but at least for our generation. And especially where things have gone now, even in the 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 conversation about like teens getting pregnant and things like that, yeah. like that was massive. And you're so right; yeah. it absolutely has ripple effects. It was huge, yeah. Because I mean, obviously, immediately everyone was like, "Um, what the fuck?" And then they had to cancel Zoe 101. And mm-hmm. then just to see like where the Spears family is now, mm-hmm. it's just like wild oh my gosh yeah really wild i totally forgot about that oh my gosh i'm glad we have different lists yes i'm remembering so much stuff right Right? now right yeah crazy okay another one that i guess doesn't have a lot of discussion with that is the ellen degeneres oscar selfie that became (gasps) like the most like tweet of all time like remember how many stars were in that and just crazy you are so right. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, happier times, really. Happier, happier times. Happier times. Really. Like, it was blissful. It was. And that was actually a really cute photo, too. It was. I it was it. so cute. Yeah. Um. Okay, my next one, I don't think – well, actually, okay, I do think it was kind of a big moment. Mm-hmm. Um, But I think it has more of a ripple effect now, if that makes sense. Okay. Is Ariana Grande's and Pete Davidson's dating and engagement? You're right. Because like, because looking at the both of them, where they've yep. gone from that moment. Because yep. okay, right immediately, <sighs> it's a shock factor of like after, um, after you Mac. know, after Mac and also the bombing too of everything. Right, yes. it feels like Ari was just like. <laughs> random random guy pete davidson at snl right and then their engagement came out of way left field and then it they broke up and their paths 
are just so different now, I feel yep. like. It is. And I and I think it brought Pete Davidson like so much more fame than he would have had otherwise. And like exactly. look at who he's dated now. And yes. like Yep. So absolutely the ripple effect. Exactly. For sure. Literally, no, you're so right. Because Pete wouldn't have the clout he would have without no. Ariana Grande. No, he wouldn't. 100%. I thought he was ugly as hell. And now all these girls so are I. simping after him. I'm like, I know. No, oh my God. Ari did that. <laughs> yes. Ari did that. She did do that. <laughs> she did. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, my last one. Do you remember Silly Bands? Yes. Those were a cultural reset. <laughs> no, you're right. Y'all, we would get you're all, right. uh, we, we would go out and buy our shapes and we would trade them. And I'd be like, you have yes. the ice cream cone silly band. And then I wouldn't get one. Yes. And then I would feel so left out. Like it was no. a status thing for real, for real. It was. And I remember I would, my fucking arms would be covered. <laughs> like, yes. you're dumb, Selena. Just, you're so no, dumb. like they were so freaking ugly. And the <sighs> thing is, you would freak out about the shapes. Yes. But you couldn't even see them once no. they were on. Yeah. And I really feel like it, like, <laughs> That was like the beginning of like fidgets and like all of yeah. those little things. Like it was. Wow, you're I so right. I traded those things like it was my life. You're so right. <laughs> oh my God. Crazy. Okay, I have two more. Okay. So um, my first one is that when Beyonce was snubbed for record of the year with Lemonade. So okay, yep. I just want to say that like at the moment, it probably didn't feel as big, right? Because I feel mm-hmm. like Adele... Her album was really freaking great, too. And mm-hmm. she was so nice about it. And it was amazing. Mm-hmm. And broke her Grammy exactly. for Beyonce. Like, like, just so, so amazing and so kind. But if you look at the ripple effect that the Grammys as an institution has mm-hmm. had, even to this past Grammys that we just had, it is huge. Absolutely is. huge. And even in the way that stars interact with each other and give their speeches yep. and things like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's yep. like crazy, crazy. It is crazy. Okay, and then my last one is kind of like a three for one or whatever, but it is some Netflix shows that I feel were cultural resets. Okay, I know a lot of them. First one is Queer Eye. Okay, yes. I feel like every when that was re- like announced, everyone just rallied and everyone was watching it and it was such a feel good show. And I again mm-hmm. too, I I love Queer Eye. Like love them, love them, love them. Yeah, yeah. Second one is Bridgerton. Uh-huh, because yep. I feel like it was the first kind of show to do like the Victorian era, but like raunchy. Like so yeah. and people were like, what is happening? Like and it was we ate that shit up. Amazing. Amazing, mm-hmm. amazing. My last one is Tiger King. I feel like that was a huge cultural reset because for everyone, it, though. No, it was because Tiger King, like, came out right at the time that COVID came out. And then it Correct. influenced TikTok trends and just all of these different things. So, yeah, I know. Wild, wild. Yeah. Wild, wild, wild. But, yeah, that was that was it for my cultural resets. I feel like I'm back, like, 10 years right Same. now. Like, honestly, that... Wow, we've lived through a lot. I was just going to say, we've lived through a, like a shit ton of stuff. And I, it's, it's crazy that like I was able to remember these things. Mm-hmm. But I know we, we're probably missing some things and whatever. So many. But yeah. it's, it's crazy just how how much happens, you know? No, it is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, But yeah, I love talking about those things. Yeah. But what are we talking <laughs> about next week? Oh, boy. So... Next week, Theoni and I realize that we haven't talked about our Lord and Savior, Sarah J. Mass, in a long, long time. So yeah. next week, we're talking about our fan cast for Akatar, which is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Yes, and for the entirety of the A Court and Thorns of Roses series. So through yes. the first book, A Court of Thorns and Roses, through A Court of Silver Flame. So yeah. if you haven't read all the books maybe don't listen to the episode we'll listen to the first yeah. half where we talk about other stuff so we can get those streams but then <laughs> turn it off <laughs> you know what's gonna be hard for me it's gonna be hard for me to be like casting just Akatar because you know I'm gonna want to jump to Crescent City oh yeah but those can be other episodes <laughs> oh my god it's, it's fine I know it's fine I know I know I know Oh, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening and we'll see you next week. Bye.